Hello folks, Tom Nelson here. Uh, today's tutorial is how to select a model in Photoshop CS4. There's a number of different ways to do this, but this tutorial is designed to give you one specific methodology on how to do that. This is the methodology we use here at the Just Bottle Shots Club. So let's get started. There's about four steps to selecting the bottle, and I'll go through them real quickly here. The first is to select the bottom part of the bottle. The second is to select the square straight side area of the bottle. And then the third is to select the top part of the bottle from about where the neck starts bending and up. And then after that's done, what we do is we save that selection. Actually, we clean up the selection first, and then we save that selection. Uh, we use a number of different tools to do this, not just one. Uh, people will argue that, oh, you should do the whole thing using the pen tool, or you should use the magnetic lasso tool, but uh, we find using a number of different tools is the way to go. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, again, if you have a bottle with a plain white background, the quick selection tool really is fantastic. It allows you to go through and let's select our layer here and it allows you to quickly as long as you have a good contrast to select a bottle in just literally seconds and then if we zoom in on that bottle you can inspect to see if there's any cleanup that you have to do but as you can see with this white background and this is how we deliver our bottles to our customers is on a plain white background or on a transparency one of the two uh, but you can see that this does really a fine job here. So let's deselect that by hitting Control D to deselect that. And let's get into a little more real life situation. Uh, let's go to a bottle that's just been photographed. And it's got more than just a white background there. So let's go ahead through the process. The first is, again, was to select the bottom of the bottle. And what we use is the elliptical marquee tool. So we select the elliptical, elliptical, if I can say it, elliptical marquee tool. Go down to the bottom of the bottle and draw a nice ellipse or an oval. And then we zoom in on that. And see that I didn't really line this up very well. So what we can do is go over to our select and we're going to just transform that particular selection. And I can actually use the arrow keys to move the selection down and get it right on the bottle and as you can see this gives a really nice curve and then I can move it to the left or I can just use these handles with the mouse and bring them in and this allows us to make the curve a little bit more in line with the bottom and then of course using the control key and grabbing a corner, I can actually skew this ellipse to my heart's content. If I hit enter on the 10 keypad, it saves that selection and now I have the bottom part selected on the bottle. Now what we want to do is we are going to do the second step which is selecting this more of the rectangular part of the bottle up the sides where we have the straight lines. And what we're going to use there is the polygonal or the polygonal lasso tool. And what we want to make sure that we're going to do is add the selection to the selection that we already have. If I use this icon here, we're going to go into the subtract mode, which means I would be subtracting from the selection. And this is just a new selection all on its own. So let's go into the add. And what we do, in, uh, in Photoshop, the cursor actually changes to a different, uh, a different shape when you go into these different modes with the different tools. Uh, using the recording software that we have for this tutorial, it always shows an arrow. Uh, there are various different ways of, of actually using the, the keys, Shift key, Control key, Alt key, etc. to actually change modes. Uh, if I hit the Alt key with the polygonal lasso tool, it goes from a plus to a minus right next to the icon, which means I'd go into the, the deselect or the subtract mode. And if I leave it off, it's in the positive mode. That you can explore that uh, using the various different other tutorials that are out there. Uh, okay, we're going to presume or progress up the side of this particular bottle laying down points but not too many because this lays down a nice straight line 
and that's what we're looking for here is a nice straight line going up the side of the bottle we're gonna go all the way up to just about where the bottle starts curving into the neck and then we'll just go right down the other side of the bottle click to lay down another point click to lay down a point inside the ellipse so we make sure we select the whole thing go over and then when we double click it will enclose the selection and now we've added the rectangular part to our selection zoom out for you so you can see that and so now we want to select the top part zoom back in and for that we are going to use the quick selection tool it is great for these areas that have a curve and then all I have to do is drag or paint the top of the bottle and it makes quick work of selecting those areas now what we're gonna do is clean up this bottle look for the edges and find things that we might want to clean up the bottle with and my favorite tool for that again is the polygonal or polygonal lasso tool and if you notice here we have a couple little jaggies so when I'm in the add mode I can just go right up and draw a nice straight line and include those pixels and then after doing that still a little bit jaggy there I'm gonna go through that same line again to deselect the pixels to the left of them and now I'm getting a much better line there so again I can add or deselect as we go down and we can explore the sides of the bottles there's a little gray area here you might not be able to see it on your monitor but I want to add that area it's actually a kind of a shadow area so I can add that to the bottle and then continue looking down the sides of the bottle to make sure you can see it's a nice straight line and then at the bottle uh, at the bottom of the bottle again we have these bulges left over from using the elliptical tool and what I will use there is the magnetic lasso tool go into subtract because I want to get rid of this area and I can just click and let the magnetic lasso tool just follow down the curve of that bottle go outside lay down another couple points by clicking double click and away goes that bulge we'll start over here again follow down the curve of the bottle as it goes down it lays down its own points using the magnetic characteristic of this tool go up here double click to close it off and like magic it is selected now right down here you can see there's just a little if you look at it real close there's a little bit of a bulge there so I'm going to use the straight edge pol polygonal lasso tool again and I'm in the add mode so let's go into the subtract mode and go out there and now I've smoothed that up a little bit and of course you can use the refine edge capability are characteristic of the tools here as well to refine your edge and there you go now we have a pretty smooth selection and the next step is to save that selection I always save these selections because you never know when you're going to need to go back in and reselect your bottle so there we go it's selected and then finally what we can do is hit control J and it will copy this bottle to its very own layer we'll poke out the eye of the base layer here the background layer and now we have a nicely selected bottle on a transparent background I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you find it uh, useful uh, it's a quick uh, but very very high quality way to select a bottle using Photoshop CS4 until next time have fun photoshopping.